Stay tuned because in today's video, we are going over Columbus, Ohio's top rated home builders and Columbus, Ohio's worst rated home builders. So you don't make the mistake of building a home just to turn your dream home into a horrible nightmare. Let's go. Quick disclaimer, I am not here to bash any particular builder or give opinionated answers. What I am here to do is share my real life experience as well as real customer reviews gathered from different websites to help you put a list together of what people are saying about Columbus. Columbus, Ohio's best and worst home builders. Not a lot of realtors would create a list like this for you because it might ruffle some feathers. But as you know, I'm here to give you guys the 100% honest truth. So when you decide to build your dream home here in Columbus, Ohio, you are completely informed and can make the best decision for you. All right, guys, we're gonna start out at the handy dandy notepad, get out your notes and let's go. To start this video, I wanna go over the top five most common complaints when people have when building a home with home builders. Number one, poor quality. Poor quality. This is the most common complaint that I get when people build a home. Builders nowadays, their number one job is to put a home up as fast as possible so they can get onto their next home. With this being their number one priority, quality is often sacrificed. So it's very important when you pick a home builder that they have a good reputation when it comes to quality because this is not what you want. If you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars purchasing a home, you want to make sure the quality is good. This is why it's also vitally important to get a home inspection before you close on the home to make sure the quality is up to standard for a new build home. Next on the list, we have poor communication. Poor communication. This is a huge issue with home builders and home buyers because builders oftentimes lack communication. When you build a home, typically it can last anywhere from eight to 12 months when you build a home. So communication needs to be an imperative part of the home buying process between the builder and the home buyer, you. So I highly recommend that you pick a builder that has great reviews when it comes to communicating, meaning from every step of the home buying process, from design to the home mechanical stage of the house, to the framing stage of the house, that the builder is updating you on every step of the process so you know exactly how far along your home is so there's no mishaps or miscommunication and you get upset at the builder. If I can flip the page, let's talk about poor Poor professionalism. Now this one really upsets me because as a home buyer, you would think if you picked a home builder, they would be professional because you are bringing them business. But that's not always the case. This goes hand in hand with poor communication. Make sure that the builder you are working with has built a lot of homes. Make sure that they are professional, meaning they're on time. If you have a meeting with your builder rep at 4.30 and they show up at 4.45 without any notice, it's probably safe to say that that builder may not care about your best interest. And if they're late to that first meeting, how do you think they're gonna treat the rest of that transaction? So make sure the builder you choose is shows up on time, communication is awesome, and they are very professional and they walk you through every single step of the home buying process and make sure you don't have any questions left unanswered. Number four on the list, over promise, under deliver. Over promise and under deliver. Most home builders will promise you the world. We'll have your home built in three months when all reality, they know that home will be five months. They know there's a building shortage supply of supplies, but they won't tell you that you'll get in contract. And as soon as you sign that contract, oh, by the way, your home will take an additional two months. So make sure that your builder is not going to pull any fast ones over you and make sure that you work with a builder that has a reputable reputation and it has a strong footprint here in Columbus, Ohio. Because let me tell you, for every good builder there is in Columbus, Ohio, there's five bad ones. So it's very important to do your upfront research. A very important piece that I want to cover because I feel horrible with home buyers. I've seen it many times when they go to build their new home is they think that home builders work for them. No, home builder reps work for the home builder. So it's very important that you have professional representation, that you work with the realtor. It doesn't even have to be me, but you have representation because the builder has their reps, they work for the builder, and the realtor is going to have your best interest. So you are not overpaying for any unnecessary things. Because most of the time, when it comes to building a home, builders have these awesome, or they sound awesome, updates you can do to the house. Get a refrigerator, get granite countertops, 
you get all this fancy stuff with in reality a lot of that stuff is unnecessary and you can always upgrade that stuff after closing and save a bunch of money one example is that most home builders don't include a refrigerator now they can offer you that but a refrigerator through a builder is typically like five to six grand or you could have waited and bought that same refrigerator for one to two grand after closing. So it's very important to know your costs and make sure the upgrades and the updates that you want in a home, you can't get cheaper outside of closing because the builder is always going to charge you a lot more. So seek professional representation. Like I said, it doesn't have to be me but definitely work with the realtor because they will have your best interest, not the builder. The biggest mistake that I see with people looking to relocate to Columbus, Ohio is not doing enough upfront research. This could cost you a ton of money and be a complete disaster. As an Ohio native and helping countless people relocate to Central Ohio, I've created the ultimate Columbus, Ohio relocation bundle that is completely free and goes over everything from the best places to live, the best places to eat, and the best places to visit. So you don't have to spend a ton of unnecessary money traveling here just to find out. The free download will be in the description below. Now let's get to the juicy part. I went through multiple sources and I think I've compiled the list of the three worst home builders here in Columbus, Ohio. Let's start with number three, Rockford Homes. Rockford Homes is rated 3.5 stars on google which is not very good i haven't worked a ton with this builder i've been in their model homes and personally haven't had an issue but the reviews on google say otherwise and let me read one of those right now donna said i purchased a rockford model home i have spent over thirty thousand dollars fixing poor quality and drainage issues leftover building materials Four other homes were left in the basement, including several bags of hardened tile, mortar, carpet scraps, and expired paint that I had to clean up and dispose. Rebecca writes about Rockford. I waited a long time to write this because I kept hoping that Rockford would redeem themselves. It has been three months and we are having a extremely similar experience to the below reviewer Sam. Almost identical right down to them installing the wrong tile and being blown off by everyone. We have almost 100 things on our punch list that were supposed to be addressed by closing three months ago and none have been done. I wish we have delayed our close, but we would have lost our interest rate lot. Coming in as the number two worst home builder in Columbus, Ohio, Miranda Homes. According to Google, Miranda Homes has a rating of 3.6 stars on Google. Let me read you a review by Star. Star wrote, things started off pretty rough with our six month repairs did not get completed before the one year end date despite my written correspondence. But after that, what I felt like was a lot of unnecessary back and forth for minor punchless items to be completed, Miranda was able to rectify the repairs. My advice if you are a first time home buyer and builder, check everything during the final walkthrough and don't close on anything until the final walkthrough items are fixed. Our final walkthrough was scheduled the morning of closing, so unfortunately, there was no way to confirm the items we pointed out were fixed prior to closing. Audrey Owens writes about Miranda. Miranda had a reputation for very poor quality in the past, and that seemed to be redeemed for a while. Unfortunately, what they made up in quality, they quickly lost in service and value. Their builder reps and superintendents do not care. During my client's building process, they had multiple reps due to high turnover at Miranda. None of them were helpful. The options explained prior to the contract being signed were much different than reality. The timeline dragged out with no explanation. Issues in the home were not addressed properly. Calls were not returned, even from corporate. Shame on you. And now eight months after closing, my clients still don't have the grass. Buyers be aware. And coming in at number one as the worst home builder here in Columbus, Ohio, Trinity Homes. Trinity Homes has a 2.8 star review on Google and Michael writes a review that states, buyers be aware. Trinity Builders has a lot of issues with securing workers and supplies. Per an email from the VP of the company, we signed a contract in January of 22 and had to get out of contract in August of 22. And has no one even begun our home. They refused to give back 100% deposit and could not provide itemizations of anything. Comment down below if you have had any bad experiences with any local Columbus, Ohio home builder. Now we're gonna talk about the best home builders here in Columbus, Ohio, starting with number three, Roby Development. 
I have worked with Roby Development in the past and I can personally vouch for the quality of their home and their customer service. Don't take it from me, I'm gonna read a real review from Taylor Ford on Google about her experience with Roby Development. We have exceptional experiences every time working with Roby Development. We have built multiple homes now with them. From the initial consultation to the final walkthrough, their team demonstrates professionalism, expertise, and attention to detail at every step of the process. Number two on the list as the best home builder in Columbus, Ohio is Romanelli and Hughes. Romanelli and Hughes has an awesome product. They are more of a custom home builder, but they also have communities where you can build spec homes and patio homes as well. And I have had personal experience working with the Romanelli and Hughes team, and I can personally say I would recommend their product to anyone looking to purchase a home. Let me read a quick review by H. Woods on his experience with Romanelli and Hughes. H. Woods says about Romanelli and Hughes, great builder, I hope our next home is built by them. Kevin says, best builder in Central Ohio area, amazing floor plans with unmatched craftsmanship. Coming in at number one as Columbus, Ohio's best rated home builder, Bob Webb. And I can personally say Bob Webb has a fantastic home. Bob Webb is a custom builder. They also have communities where they build homes. So whether you're looking to build a custom home or you're looking to have a home in a subdivision, Bob Webb is going to be perfect. The quality, the craftsmanship, and the communication is top notch. I can personally vouch for this company. We are actually sitting right now inside a model home and it is absolutely beautiful. I want to read you a quick review. Kathy writes, we love our Bob Webb simplified living home. Their service is outstanding from start to finish, have just finished our first year and love everything about our home. The floor plan is so perfect. The quality is excellent. The design was just what we wanted and we had so much input into making it our own. We highly recommend Bob Webb. Steve Miller writes about Bob Webb. Purchasing a Bob Webb home was one of the best decisions we ever made. The workmanship and attention to detail are top notch, but the incredible customer service and maintenance follow up made us feel like family. They always went above and beyond to help us solve our issues and generally care about all their clients. All around great experience, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, if you plan on visiting or relocating to Columbus, Ohio, make sure you check out the free Ultimate Columbus, Ohio relocation bundle. My whole goal was to make it for you guys. It's completely free. You might as well check it out. And if you wanna see more videos just like this, look up here.